Hey everyone, how you doing? This is the Thrift Shop Hustler here. My name's Chris. I'm from Southern California. And, uh, welcome. I know I've been off for a few days. Haven't been posting much videos. A lot of personal stuff going on. A lot of car problems. Uh, here in Southern California, it's definitely a must to have a car. So, um, I'm hoping to get all that corrected. And a lot of just personal things going on. It's hard to kind of juggle career, reselling family and all that stuff i know i know many of you could uh sympathize with me for that so i appreciate that you're here we're gonna go over some of the stuff that sold this week uh once again my name is chris i am the thrift shop hustler i've been reselling collectibles for almost 30 years started when i was really young selling baseball cards at swap meets and yard sales and just been doing that ever since i ran a couple of ebay stores when i was in my 20s and I did eBay when it first started. <clears throat> and uh, I did Yahoo auctions before that and even other auctions before that. So I've been doing this for many years. So welcome everyone that's new to the channel. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and everything. And uh, just to let you know also, I am I do this part time. I work in the TV and film industry. And uh, that's one of my passions for sure. And uh, I love my job, but I do this to help uh, put my kids through school and uh, support my wife and my family. And uh, that's the main reason why I do reselling. I don't drive a fancy car. I don't live in a nice home. My goal right now is just to provide for my family and uh, get my kids a good Catholic education, good private school education, cost a lot. And... Uh, yeah, so that's what I do. This is who I am. And hi, <laughs> I've been away for a while and I, I look freaking glowing. I just want to let you know, guys, I've been doing the vegan thing for since uh, March 1st. The whole month of March, I've been going vegan. It's been a really crazy experience because I'm a man. I love meat. Um, I love all kinds of fatty foods. And it just it's been it's I'm not going to lie. It's been a little tough. But uh, doing a lot of U YouTube stuff and looking at some different things and I can just tell, wow, I'm just uh, I'm looking freaking glowing today. I lost a little chin weight, as you can see from previous videos. Enough about me. Let's get into this. This is what you guys really want to see, right? You want to see the, the meat and potatoes or the potatoes and the broccoli. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It's Friday. I'm happy. It's, uh, it's a good day. It's good to be back. And uh, let's get into it right now. Up first, we have these Doc Martens. I wanted to post this because I sold these for $89.99 shipped. I used a large priority box. The lady got it. She had like no feedback, and of course returned it. So I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys like you know not everything is going to be peaches and cream in this business. I know a lot of you might get like kind of down on yourselves when you see people and they're crazy like uh monthly takes and you know the profits that they're making and all this wonderful stuff that people are buying um there's a flip side to that you know doing this for so many years i get into little lulls where i get depressed and you know that's part of the business you got to understand that there's going to be some returns and i noticed that ever since i've been doing clothing this year i've noticed a lot of a lot of the returns or actually most of the returns because I don't really get many returns are from clothing and stuff like that and uh, I try to describe everything as best I can I try to t uh, fill up the 12 uh, photos when I can so I actually just wanted to show this to so look like no there's a there's a back there's a bad side to this you know you're gonna lose money uh, she was supposed to return it by today I never I, I never got a um, a return thing so I don't know how that's going to work with eBay so that's something that I have to figure out because I'm not used to dealing with returns to be honest um, I deal with collectibles and toys and stuff like that and usually people are usually happy with the purchases so I wanted to show these boots to let you know that these were going to be returned I showed them on the last video so just hang in there everyone you know everything's not peaches and cream Next up, we have Super Mario Galaxy 2 with from the Wii system. I purchased this from a huge collection that was... Uh, I did a video about that a few weeks ago. It was in a bag. I think I was maybe like a dollar or $2 into this. Sold for $13.95. This one was complete. And the disc was nice. 
And uh, I want to tell you guys something. Maybe I should make another video about this. Um, uh, you know what? I'll make another video about it sometime because it's actually another, it's a good tip. But anyways, I'll just say it now since I've already mentioned it real quick. You can actually refurbish discs. So if you have like a, you know, a very high valued game and the disc is scratched and it won't play, you can actually send it away through some, uh, there's people on eBay that do disc re resurfacing. And it should cost about between um, $2 to $3 a disc. If you do it in bulk, you can do it more. But um, just to let you know, I think, uh, I'm not sure if these ones, I actually did send some of those in to get refurbished. I don't know what this one, but it made me think a lot about that. That you, That's that's definitely an option, and you could uh, do that. Next up, we have a complete Mario Kart sold for $21.99 for the Wii. This is actually a good game. This is actually a very common game to be honest and it actually comes with a little steering wheel but most people don't care about that because honestly if you play the game you know that you pretty pretty much don't even use that little steering wheel but this is a, a bolo be on the lookout for is this Wii Mario Kart you can get some good money for this I, I took a best offer or actually I, I think I lowered the price on this one to $21.99 and uh, I could have probably got close to 30 for it if I waited, but I, I was just I just really wanted to get rid of this. So be on the lookout for Wii Mario Kart. It looks like this. Um, you're also sometimes gonna find like just the disc by itself. And like I said, if you find the disc by itself and you get it refurbished, you can easily get 15, 17 dollars from it. Next up, we have a DS. I had this actually put away in my collection and I I took it out and I was looking through all these little DS games and I was I was surprised that you know a lot of them were going for more than ten dollars. So I sold this one eleven ninety five no box no instructions. Um, I put it as acceptable condition even though it's like pretty clean. Um, actually it's got a little bit of dirt on it. And you can clean these really nicely with a little bit of Windex. You just spray a little bit of Windex on a paper towel. Don't spray it directly on the cart. Never do that. Spray into a towel, paper towel, and wipe. And uh, a lot of that stuff will come right out. Sold for eleven ninety five. dollars uh, You can find a lot of these at garage sales for like a dollar each or even less. You can find these in bundles. So keep a lookout for that. Next up was part of the DS stuff that I had. Um, unfortunately, well, here's the thing. I put it as a lot of four. As you can see, there is five. And I'll tell you what happened with the fifth one. Uh, Mario Kart 7 does not work. I put it in, I tested it, it didn't work, so I'm like, geez, what am I going to do with it? It's pretty much worthless. I decided when I was going to bundle this lot together, I was going to throw this one in for free. And as you can see, I, I worded four games, not five, and in the description, I put not working. Maybe you know how to fix this free with lot, so no one's confused. Always make sure that you're putting the proper description in the description box and also the high bidder um, right before it ended I, I messaged them and said look Mario Kart is not working they understood it which was good they were really after these Lego games this Lego City and Lego uh, undercover and they couldn't care less about the Mario but unfortunately if the Mario worked I think I can get between 15 and 20 dollars loose just for Mario Kart so keep a lookout for that Next up, we have this Xbox 360 Madden 09. This was sealed, sold for $14.99. Um, this one I found at a local thrift store. It was $2. They sell uh, all their games and DVDs for $2. And sometimes I'll be lucky enough to go in there right when they put stuff out. And of course, there was a good stack of Xbox 360 games that were sealed. Of course, I bought them all for $2. You can't go wrong. Even if you sold them for $10, you're still making good money. Uh, this one sold for $14.99. This one was Madden 2009 with Brett Favre on the cover. Next up, we have Super Mario Galaxy. This one was not complete. It was missing in its instructions. But it had all of its little tiny inserts that are kind of like flyers, advertising things. So no instructions. It was a very clean disc. This one sold for $11.95. And this one sold super fast. This was part of that huge lot that I picked up for $80 which was a bag of electronics and a buttload of video games it was a good deal I think I was maybe into a dollar or less on this game so look out for anything Mario with Wii you're gonna find a lot of Wii games out there if, 
because when, when I look around and I go to garage sales and estate sales and things, you're going to find a lot of Wii games. So just look for anything that has Mario on it, that says Mario on it. Those are pretty good pickups if you can get those for a relatively good price. Next up, we have the Simpsons PlayStation 3 games. PlayStation 3 isn't really a great system for selling reselling games. There are some good titles in that system. But for the most part, it is not a good system for games. But don't quote me on that. You'll have to do your research. There are some games that are good. This one happened to be a good game. Sold it for $19.95 and it was complete. Which is very surprising to me, but it's The Simpsons and, uh, you know, it was a good price. This came uh, also came with that huge lot. Let's check real quick to make sure that my audio and video is recording and it looks like we are good. Glad you guys are here. Let's continue. Dustin Grooves. This, this book was a huge book. I bought this for... I want to say it was six dollars. Sold for twenty six ninety nine. I was trying to get forty for it for for about a few a couple weeks, because brand new copies of this go for about that much at used. And um, I noticed that as soon as I listed this, Amazon or or a major I think it was Barnes and Nobles actually started selling these brand new for twenty nine ninety nine, which was a bummer because that happens. And uh, this one had a little bit of damage to it. And oh my god, I didn't put that in here. Hmm. This is a stock photo. That's crazy. Well, anyways, this one had a little bit of damage to it. I hope, <laughs> I hope the buyer doesn't return it. I did mention that in the description, but nowadays people don't read the descriptions too well. For all you guys that are sellers, you know what I'm talking about. Dustin Grooves. This book was like a five-pound book, if you can believe it. So I definitely shipped this media mail. I want to say it cost like six dollars to ship it media mail, which is a lot of money for media mail. Let's get into that real quick. Some of you might be going, what the hell is media mail? I've heard of first class. I've heard of priority. What is media mail? Media mail is for books and kind of like uh, press kits. If you don't know what that is, it's in the TV and movie industry, kind of like sample DVDs, books, instruction manuals. <clears throat> blank media is kind of a gray area. I've always sent, sent blank media with uh, media mail, I've never had a problem. Uh, VHSs, I've sent media mail, I've never had a problem. So stuff like that. You cannot send video games. Um, that's one of the big no-nos. You can't send a lot of video games through media mail. And uh, you can't have any <clears throat> advertising, i.e. business cards, invoices, nothing. So to be very careful when you're doing with me media mail, there's plenty of YouTube videos on media mail. I suggest anyone who is serious about reselling, go look at that. There's plenty of blog posts, plenty of articles. I'm not an expert, but I'm just basically giving you a little bit of information. You can save a lot of money on shipping because when you ship these big books, this thing was like five pounds. It would have cost me like $30 in uh, priority mail because um, it didn't, it wouldn't, it wasn't going to fit in a, uh, in a in a normal box. So. Next up is Eye of Judgment. Um, this was a game that Sony put out in 2008, 2009. It was an amazing game uh, for anyone that didn't know PlayStation 3. The reason why I showed this, even though it's $2.99 with free shipping, and I'm literally pretty much breaking even on these things, um, I, I post these because I have other cards that I sell with Eye of Judgment. I was actually one of Sony's official uh, collectible sites that I ran a long time ago. It's like another whole other thing that I was into a while ago. And uh, I was one of three official Sony sites. And actually it's kind of funny when Sony uh, closed the game down, they actually sent me all their promo cards and stuff that they had in their warehouse, which was very cool. I still have those. I should make a video about that. I'm still trying to figure out a way how to how to bundle those all together and sell them because the game you can't play the game online anymore. You used to be able to to duel against like uh, other people like through a network, and now you can only play versus the computer. So the game's kind of lost a lot of its luster. But keep a lookout for Eye Judgment cards. There are some ultra rares that are worth some good money, twenty, thirty, forty dollars each. And sometimes you can find these at garage sales, and you can find these on eBay sometimes very cheap. 
because people don't know what they have. And uh, there's some promo cards that are worth over $100 too, and yeah, look out for that. I should probably do a get to know video on Eye of Judgment cards because I was knee deep into this collectible. So I just want to share that with you. Next up is this custom uh, amiibo I did. Um, most of you don't know, I'm Evilos. I do custom uh, toys. I've been doing that for pretty much, geez, 10, 12 for for a while and uh so what i do is I'll, I'll take these like this figure was just a regular figure i took it i made a like a bronze statue of him with bronze air, airbrush paint and then i went in and, and patinaed it to give it that vintage statue look well anyways i had four of these sold them for 39.99 this is how i private label there's a lot of people that private label with like they'll buy a toothbrush and put their name on it you know their brand name me my private label is custom toys i'll take a toy i'll repaint it i'll make it my own i'll sell it you know there's some good money in, in in it if you know what you're doing i've been a model maker for for well over 20 years so i have the experience and uh so i'm able to use some of utilize some of my art talent to make money and that's another video that i plan on making down the road is if you're if you have a talent whether it be writing video making art you can take that and you can make some money on it next up we had these canon uh, lens cap covers these came with uh, my camera that i bought many years ago and uh, when i was going through a bunch of stuff i found all this loose brand new nos nos stands for new old stock and there was so, there was like this a lot of this canon stuff so i was like oh i'm gonna sell this little cord i'm gonna sell this book I saw these lens caps, $9.95. These things, honestly, were just sitting in a box. Now, imagine your whole house and you got a hundred of these $9.95 things just sitting around. If you took the time, gathered all those things up, sold them, if you sold all of them, that's a thousand dollars right there. Next up, we have Funko. I have this Smuggler's Bounty. I bought it. And uh, I never opened it. And what this is, is like every month Funko, I think it's like actually every two months now, would have a box full of goodies. And uh, this one was sealed. I didn't open it because I knew I knew what was in it. And I was just going to save it and sell it at a later date. But I was figuring, you know, this thing is just taking up space. I don't really want it. I sold it for $39.99. It shipped priority to California, thankfully, which is in the same state. So I was able to only pay like six something for or uh shipping i didn't have to put put it in a box i shipped it in this box i just slipped a sticker because this is how they actually ship and uh, made a few bucks on it um yeah so actually keep a lookout for funko stuff if you can find it at the thrift stores or at uh garage sales not all the funko pop stuff is going to be worth a lot so do your research um, if you have any funko stuff right now i highly suggest you sell it and get rid of it as fast as you can uh, right now, I think the company is is reaching its apex in collectability, and I and I'm pretty sure down the road. I mean, I'm already starting to see them at the 99 cent store. So that tells you that the company is starting to slide. So if you have any Funko stuff, and it's just sitting on a shelf, and you don't really want it, get rid of it now. All right, next up is his Reese Power Sports two-piece retractable tie downs. Um, I got two of these brand new they were twelve dollars at the thrift store i paid up on them i usually don't pay twelve dollars for individual things it's a little high but i was looking on amazon and they were going for like sixty dollars or something ridiculous like that so of course i bought them brought them home i was going to put them on fba and of course i was restricted in this brand for some reason so i put them on ebay sold them for 28.99 with 15.99 shipping these shipped in because these things were kind of big. This is my actual photo. And they fit perfectly in a large flat rate box. And it was like 17 something to ship. 1710 or something like that. Luckily I charged $15.99. It wasn't exactly. You know. The cost of shipping. But pretty close. So I made a few bucks on that. Keep a lookout for weird stuff like this. Next up is this Hallmark Lionel train ornament steam locomotive this one was really cool it was like blown glass uh, a lot of the 50s 
ornaments have this kind of like funky metallic looking matte glass finish stuff and you can usually tell you know vintage ornaments christmas ornaments that are older because they look like that so actually I, I have another photo of this a little blurry but you can see here i got i paid like a dollar for this at the thrift store i was looking at comps and they're around 1999 the box is a box is a little smashed the overall piece was good so i was able to get 14 and 99 for it Next up is this buckled down Disney Tinkerbell belt. I have a lot of this older Disney kind of stuff that I had put away that I picked up from. I don't even know where I got this. And it's really cool because it's like a seatbelt buckle. And I actually wear one every day that I have. It's a Punisher one from Marvel Comics. And uh, it's a great belt. And it's pretty much uh, for your pants, obviously. And uh, it's, it's really cool because it's like literally a belt buckle and it's got the same material. Anyways, uh, I think I've got this for super cheap. Anyway, I sold this for sixteen ninety five. Lastly, we have this DVD media. This is a twenty five pack, and this was a double layer, right? This I got a huge media lot that had VHSs, DVDs, blank DVDs, and all this for ten dollars on offer up. So I'm literally pennies into this. This sold today for $19.95. This will ship media mail. And uh, so that's pretty much what we did. I did. I had some Amazon sales and I had some Etsy sales. And I don't do much with Etsy. Actually, I kind of do. And I kind of do. I, I want to say like I don't do as much Amazon as I do. I have some private label Amazon stuff. And I'm kind of reluctant to show you guys about that stuff yet for now because um, I don't know. It's just I don't know if I want to share kind of that stuff because I realize like a lot of people don't share certain things. And I always wondered, oh, why does why doesn't so and so share about this and that? And I've or I've realized that um, sometimes it's best to keep some of your stuff, you know, private, you know, cause, cause this is a business and you want to kind of, you don't want to put everything out there publicly, uh, not just because I'm trying to hoard information. It's just, I'm trying to protect, um, some of my products and stuff like that. And, uh, I will be doing a video eventually about some of my private label stuff. And it has to do with a lot. It has to do with the art and things like that. And, uh, so we'll, we'll get into that at another date, but anyways, I'm going off on a rant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Thrift Shop Hustler. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the subscribe button, which is right here. And it'll take you to my channel and you can subscribe. And uh, click the like button if you enjoyed some of this content. And uh, leave a comment below on some of the stuff that you saw that you, you think you can find. Or some of the stuff that you sold or what was your favorite thing. Or if you even have any questions about any of this stuff, uh, let me know. I'm totally happy to... Uh, take a look and answer all your questions so i want to thank everyone for watching friday have a good weekend and uh, i think i'm going to make a another video right now on something else so stay tuned for that you guys have a good one